Customers turning up for their morning coffee at the 20 Starbucks stores throughout the Buffalo area may have heard this first. Informational pickets from the Starbucks Workers United members and supporters now upset by what they say was the firing of another 10 workers involved in union organizing activities, even as the stores, which have already voted for a union shop, have been struggling in bargaining with the company to get their first ever union contract. Starbucks has no incentive to give us the kind of contract that we deserve and the kind of contract that we can sign until they actually stop fighting the union across the country. There's a significant um, percentage of situations where they, they never get a first contract. Some Buffalo Starbucks stores last December became the first in the nation in decades to approve union representation. Meanwhile, seeing some non-union stores elsewhere reportedly getting offers of better pay and benefits. Does that frustrate you or do you feel that that's an indication that your effort is working? Exactly. I think what they're giving to the non-union stores is exactly what we've been asking for. And in fact, the pay bump that they've announced, they announced right when we were getting our election date. But despite the action of the National Labor Relations Board on their behalf back in June, seeking a federal court order against Starbucks corporate officers for actions of alleged interference with the union, ranging from dismissal of employee union organizers, threats of retaliation, and even store closings, some experts feel it's a difficult case to make with limited repercussions, even if forced to rehire any fired staffers. There are some financial costs, uh, you know, because at that point, Starbucks will have been paying back pay for a period of time that these employees were not working. You know, whether that's a sufficient financial penalty for Starbucks, I guess, is, you know, that's a, a question for Starbucks, I suppose. So our momentum is still growing, and I think our customer support and awareness is also growing, which is how we're really going to win this. So again, this was an informational picket. Now, a Starbucks spokesman responding this afternoon that, in essence, the company supports the staffers' right to protest, and they will listen to them as they do all their partners with respect for the legal process and their voices. I'm Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.